Hi, welcome to Bike Bible with me, John. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a custom route for your Garmin via mobile phone and without any sort of involvement with your PC. So, here's a little bit of story time for you. The other day I was faced with a task of cycling to somewhere where I didn't know how to get there via a bicycle but that was the only way that I could get to the location I needed to. I was kind of, you know, I was rushed for time. I couldn't, you know, you know, spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes, oh, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to go onto the computer to upload Garmin Connect on the PC, um, do the route and then spend ages trying to sync my Garmin to the PC to then, you know, transfer the custom route that I needed onto the, the Garmin itself. So after searching on Google, and it was only for about five or ten, five or ten minutes, I was searching on there. I came across a route. Um, a route. Um, I came across a method on a forum that basically tells you how to use a mobile phone to create a route to then, you know, transfer onto Garmin Connect via your Garmin Connect app on your. Uh, either your Apple phone or your Android phone and then use the Bluetooth function on there to transfer over the route onto the Garmin eradicating any use for the PC so I gave this you know method a try it took me literally five, five, five maybe ten minutes tops to basically do the entire process um, and yeah it, it, it worked flawlessly I'm gonna it's not an advertisement for the app um, as well that I'll be using to create the route. Um, I'll be doing a you know kind of a semi review for it, as in you know talking you through uh, what to do on the app itself. Uh, there's going to be other apps available, I'm sure, uh, but this time of doing this video, I do not know what other apps there is to create these sort of file formats that you need for Garmin Connect. So if I find anything out in the future, I will do a future tech video explaining those apps and how much better or worse compared to this app that I'm going to be using to, you know, basically make your mind up which app you want to choose. So without further ado, I'm going to make a start on this. So I'm going to open up my phone here. Hopefully you can see everything up on here. I'm going to record everything as I go along. So as you can see here, I am clicking on record and that should start in a moment up the brightness just a tad so you can see what I'm doing um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this app here it's not a paid advertisement but this app by any means by the way uh, it does have a lot of glitches in it but uh, for the time being this is the only app that I know of that does this task if you know any others that do something similar to this on either iPhone or Android, please comment down below. Otherwise, this is what I'm going to be using for now. Uh, so, I'm going to click on the app, and this is the route that I've already created. Anyway, I'm going to show you quickly how to use the app. So, I'm going to just, for the time being, cre uh, create a very, very, very straightforward route. So, I'm going to click up on there. I'm going to use not my home address, Never use your home address uh, for starting a ride if you're going to make that ride public afterwards. Would be thieves and all the rest of it, or get your information of where you live and all the rest of it otherwise. So always start your ride away from your house, either the bottom of your street, top of the street, wherever, just as long as you don't start it at your house. Tangent over. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start. I'm happy with that. So yeah, we'll, we'll start from there. And I'm just going to cycle you know, a few minutes away and then, you know, just, you know, show you some of the other features, you know, to throw in here. So I'm going to zoom, you can zoom in on here, you can rotate the map and all the rest of it. I, I, I find that annoying, so I won't. I'm going to select here. I'm just going to very quickly, oh, oh, here we go. Right, so what I've come across here, it's not used the direct route, it's gone off it's gone here, there and everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the undo button, bottom left. I'm then going to create, I'm going to use the um, the symbol on the bottom right. And I'm going to select all my options on here. So 
Uh, I'm happy with terrain. I'm happy with the units as kilometers. Uh, the, this route is not for foot, it is for cycling in this case, but you can use it for foot or car as well, just so you know. I'm going to pick direct route as well, that's why it was going around the world because it was trying to select, uh, it was trying to, to select, sorry, uh, quite some roads, you know, to get to the point that I pressed on. We don't want that, it, it's just easier using direct routes. So, I'm going to try this again now. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm just going to hold the phone as I do this very quickly. So uh, go along. Oh, there you go again. Undo and back because I tried to select the pub car park. Not today. Go along to this point here. Alright, cool. So, the one thing I've noticed about this app, which I really despise at the moment, I'm using the free version by the way, so I, couldn't, I can't speak for the premium. Low power mode, yes. Bad battery. Um, yeah, so the premium version, there's two pet peeves I have about it. A, it won't select uh, paths of any sort, so it seems. Even if you're on foot, it won't select paths. Um, might be just my version of this app, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I, right, not going off on tangents. I'm trying my best not to. Um However, you know, if you need to select a path for any part of your route or if there's a road that's been a little bit funny with you uh, for selecting, then what you can do is press the symbol bottom left hand corner of the screen and you'll see follow roads, users roads to route between points you touch. I'm going to click that as off. And what I'm going to do, because I'm a neat freak, I always do it to as symmetrical as possible. I'm going to just click along on this path. As I said, I've been having real problems with this app when it comes to selecting paths. I don't know if all versions of this app do the same thing, but mine has definitely been struggling. And I'm going to stop it here. There we go. I've noticed as well, you can't modify, you can modify some points, but uh, the if you try and add points in between points that you've already created, the app does shut down as well. That's another uh, dislike for this app that I've got. It's quite glitchy like that. But anyway, I've picked my uh, me final point. I'm going to click the bottom left hand. Is it the bottom left? Yeah, uh, the bottom left. I'm going to click the bottom, um, uh, the bottom center even um, uh, symbol. I'm going to. You've got the choice of either clearing your route, which we don't want to do. We can reverse it. We can select out and back and uh, loop to start so reverse is basically it'll start, uh, swap the start and finishing points out and back is basically it'll follow the same route as close as it can do um, it might alter one way streets and stuff like that and you've got loop to start where it'll try and you know create a loop um, based off what you've entered uh, as you start and finishing points and the mileage in between I'm going to select for this out and back it comes up with this use of caution thing. Uh, it, I, I've already explained that, so don't worry. So I'm going to press OK. OK. And what we will now do is we're going to press Done. So we've done this now. Um, what we can do... What is it in miles? 6.9. Cool. Just wanted to acknowledge that for a second. So, what we'll do now is... So, yeah, I've got the uh, the tripod with the camera in an awkward position, so... Uh, I'm going to start up my Garmin. Okay. I'm just waiting for this to upload. It's just doing all the maps and stuff like that. Gonna wait for it to say um, phone connected because you'll have your Bluetooth for both that and that switched on. 
I think I mentioned that at the beginning. Yes, I did. And um, phone's now connected. So we're going to click off this now. Um, we're going to very quickly just open up the app on the phone. And we're going to click off it. And then we're going back to the app uh, here to Easy Boost. And we're going to click the bottom uh, while being on this screen here. If, you, if it doesn't come up on there, just select what you need to. Um, click on the bottom center logo. And we're going to save this as a GPX file. Uh, it will let you save it as a FIT file, a TCX file, a KMZ file, whatever that's for. I don't use that file for anything personally. And the map my uh, map my fitness as well, which is an app I believe as well. I don't use it. I'm gonna select GPX because this is for Garmin. And I'm gonna swipe along the top until I see copy to connect. And uh, copy to connect uh, Garmin Connect. And you should see this screen if you've done things correctly. I'm going to save this as a paved cycling, but if you, you can do this for forest terrain and you know, gravel cycling as well. Running, trail running, and I don't know what's in more. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going close. So I'm going to pick paved cycling. It's come up with our route. I'm going to press... Basically, I'm going to uh, press done on here. Saving your course. We're all cool with that. I'm gonna click on I'm gonna click on the top right hand corner symbol. I'm gonna press on my Garmin. I just named it after my name. And it says ready to roll, your course will be uploaded in due course and all the rest of it. So we're gonna click back. Cancel, I don't want to press that. Back. Back. And you should see the syncing. Yeah, there you go. It's synced up and download complete. Now, I'm going to try and show you as best as I can on here. That we don't need the mobile screen now. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go on to trading because that's where the courses are for this Garmin. And then we should see, I've done this a few times by the way, um, there we go, you'll see all the various routes that I've done, 6.9 miles, that's the one that we've just done, and that's complete, so if we click on there now, loading course, should take a second or two, we can ride it, the summary map, um, obviously if you want to ride it you press ride I'm going to just show you very quickly then and there we go I'll try and bring it closer so you can see a bit better there you go it's like in a purpley blue but basically it's done the, uh, the route and I can start using that if I want to and that's all complete so I'm going to do a quick oh, get rid of that uh, let's just go back a little bit. I have to do the rear claw hand in order to uh, do this because I can't reach my other hand around the tripod. Um, switch this off. So yeah, that is pretty much everything for this. Uh, I'm going to get away from the table now. And yeah, I'll do a brief summary. And there we go. That's everything... Um for basically creating your own route on a mobile phone and say, you know transferring it over to your Garmin without the use of a PC whatsoever. The PC Garmin Connect app um, or your know, program if you like um, it does have its own glitches as well um, and I think this app follows it a little bit in some respects um, um, if you try and modify a route heavily, it will basically shut down entirely. Um, but the good thing about this app compared to Garmin Connect, the, the program um, on the PC, is if Easy Route does close down, it does save right to the very last point prior to shutting down. So when you reboot it, you haven't lost everything 
that has happened to me quite a lot on Garmin, um, Garmin Connect. So yeah, I find that at least a little bit more uh, bearable, if you like. But anyway, um, the the app does have plenty of bugs. If there is any other apps uh, for mobile phones uh, where you can do this sort of thing in the future, I will do videos to you know show you them sort of methods as well. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, Easy Routes has been just that. It's been an easy way to do in routes to get them on my Garmin um, without messing around with PCs, and that's what I do appreciate the most. Uh, the whole time for the essence sort of thing. If you have found this video informative, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, you know what else to do. If you know of any other apps that can replicate this, please, you know, let us know down in the comments down below. And as I said, I'm going to look for it, but you know, your info is you know crucial on this as well. And yeah, ultimately, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see any more videos like this one or just subscribe in general <laughs> but yeah again thank you very much for watching and catch you all again very soon